Hey, what is going on guys? Vex bringing another Photoshop tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to learn Photoshop within 5 minutes. This is basically just all the basics you need to follow any one of my tutorials or edit some of my templates. Now I'm just doing this as I've seen some of you guys in the comments asking questions about stuff like fonts and effects and you know like how do I do this or that and I can't really answer all of you because it just takes too much time and it's just the comments really isn't the place to do it. So I'm making this and I'm also going to be doing one for Premiere and Vegas and some other software. Uh, just to help you guys out, follow some of my tutorials if you are having some difficulties. So let's get straight into it and yeah, five minutes. So the first thing you want to do is go file, new, and create your document. Now we can name this whatever we want, and we can make this 1280 by 720, or whatever, you, you know, just pick whatever you want, and make sure the background is on transparent, and the color profile sRGB is the standard. So just click OK, and then you can see this is your working space. Now if you don't already know, the white and gray squares mean transparency, there's a lack of color there. So when you save this image, it won't be black and white dots, you won't see these squares, it'll just be no color, it'll be transparent. So the first thing you need to know is your layers area. So this is your layers and what this means in Photoshop is every layer is irrelevant from the next one. So you can move it around and change it and erase it or delete it, do whatever you want to it and it won't affect anything else that's not on that layer. So layers are the most important thing in Photoshop and they just you'll need to know a lot about them. So if you want to create a new layer, the shortcut for that is Control Shift N or you can just go and click on this layer image down the bottom there. Now if you want to create a new folder or group, uh, you can do it with that little folder icon. And what a group is, is you can put a bunch of layers within a group, and that just allows you to delete a bunch of layers at once, or you know, remove show and unshow by clicking this eye here. Now if you want to add effects to your picture, so let's just go and drag a picture in, which you can do by just dragging and dropping just like that. Your image will drop in. Um, and if you want to resize this, you just go to the corners here, and that allows you to resize. But obviously that's getting warped and stretched everywhere, which isn't very useful. So you want to hold shift, and then you can drag it, and it will keep the scale uniform. If you hold control on the corners, that then allows you to warp the perspective, and just move each corner individually like this. And then if you hold control and alt, then you can do it the same thing, but it will apply it uh, to the opposite corner as well. Now, if you want to rotate it, just wait till your cursor turns into those two arrows pointing on this angle, and then you can rotate just like that. And that's pretty much the basics of resizing an image. And obviously, it will snap to the corners of the document or any other images you have. It'll just, these pink lines will pop up, and that means it's snapping to those. Now, once you've got that all ready, uh, you just click this tick, and that will confirm it. So if we go on to something like the brush tool here, which you can see it doesn't let us do. If you get that uh, cross sign, just make sure you've right clicked on your layer and rasterize the layer. That just means you can edit it and do whatever you want to it. Now, as I was saying earlier, effects, what you want to do is come and click this half colored circle down here and you'll see all this pop up. So this is your brightness and contrast, your levels, hue and saturation. So we do brightness and contrast, something like this. What we want to do then is it'll pop up here. So we can make the brightness higher or lower, do whatever you want. And you move the contrast, you know, that's all pretty straightforward stuff. And then what we can do is we can hide or show this and it won't apply anymore. All we can do is once we double click on it and it all shows up here, what we can do is we can press this button and that means that it'll only apply to the layer directly above directly below it rather than just every layer in the document. So that's a really useful thing to know uh, if you want to just apply an effect to a single layer. Now that will also work if you're doing it to a group. So you can do click that arrow and then it'll only apply to everything in the group directly below it. Now when it comes to colors, you can click over here and this is your two color swatches. So by default you have black and white. What this means is with your brush, it'll be, you can be painting in uh, white or black, and then if we switch it with this little arrow here, then it'll switch to the other color. So what you can do is double click on one of these, and then this will pop up the color picker, and you can do this by picking whatever color you want within this area, and drag one of these two arrows, and it will go through the RGB spectrum. So you say we want a blue, and then we can start drawing in blue, and then we want to also simultaneously be using a red, then we can click pick a red and we can do that. And then what we can do is frequently, whenever we need, we can just switch between the two with that button there. Now, as you can see, I undid there. So the way you undo in Photoshop is not just Control Z, it is Control Alt Z. 
If you do Control Z, it'll just flick back and forth uh, between Undo and Redo. And then if you hold Control Alt Z, it'll just go back several steps. If you want to redo, that's Control Shift Z. Now, once you're on here, you might want to not pick a color uh, like this. You might not know what exactly color you want. So what you can do is move this out of the way and hover over your image and your cursor will turn into an eyedropper tool. So you can just pick any color on the document and it'll just pick whatever pixel you clicked on. So let's say you've edited your image, you've used all those kind of stuff. Now you want to go File and click Save As. And here you can pick whatever format you want to save your image in. So JPEG or PNG are the standard or a Photoshop document, which is a PSD, and that'll allow you to open it later in Photoshop. Everything will be the same, all your layers will still be here, and you can edit it later. So let's say we want PNG, ABC.png, save it to a desktop, click Save, click OK, and once that loads down the bottom, there you go. You've saved your image, you've edited it, and that's pretty much it. That is the basics of Photoshop. So hopefully this tutorial helped you guys. Hopefully this uh, just showed you some tips or tricks, something you might not have known. And hopefully if you're a beginner, you're new to Photoshop, this will help you edit some of my templates. And once you start editing some templates, once you start following some tutorials, uh, mine or anyone else's, then you can start designing your own stuff and just start learning as you go. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please let me know down below. Uh, all your comments, I appreciate it. I do read all of your comments, even if I don't get back to you. I like the video if you enjoyed or learned something, and I'll probably end up doing one of these for Sony Vegas and Premiere and maybe some other software. So yeah, that's pretty it. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.